Good evening. I wanted to talk about two possible scenarios in the track of Hurricane Irma as it approaches Miami, Florida on Sunday morning. What you're seeing in the deeper greens is the center of rotation of Hurricane Irma remaining off the coast of Florida. Now, it will still have high impacts in this scenario, Miami being here, West Palm Beach being here, wind speeds we would see from 70 to 90 miles per hour, uh, rainfall rates of 1 to 2 inches an hour, um, and then also storm surge of 3 to 5 feet, at least for a short period of time. Let's compare that to a second scenario. We can see here the center of rotation over the Everglades in South Florida, and the possible path of the hurricane going through Miami, and then eventually West Palm Beach. However, in this scenario, we would see an extended period of hurricane force winds of 100 to possibly 120 miles per hour. Storm surge could be well over 5 feet, possibly 10 feet. Um, rainfall totals 15 to 18 inches of rain. So this would be a very costly scenario if it were to play out for the state of Florida. Now, looking at this particular image, we can see what the wind speeds would be for 8 a.m. on Sunday morning for Miami, Florida. Here it's predicting wind speeds of 102 miles per hour. In and around Miami, we could see wind speeds approaching 130 miles per hour. Again, Category 3, Category 4 strength. Let's also take a quick look at precipitation. Precipitation amounts for, let's say, a period of three hours could be four, four and a half inches of rain for Miami. Again, this would just be the start of the storm that we're seeing. Well, let's keep in mind that this is still two, two and a half days out, and we still don't know the exact track of the storm, but this would be a devastating scenario for Miami if it were to play out. What I've done on my website is I've shown the differences between the scenarios. Again, the direct and indirect paths of the storm if they were to play out. Scenario one showing where you would have a glancing blow from the storm. And the storm would be well off the coast of Florida. But this would still produce wind speeds of 90 miles per hour, rainfall up to 7 inches, storm surge 5 feet. Scenario 2, again, much more devastating. Winds of 120 miles per hour, rainfall up to 16 inches, and storm surge of close to 10 feet. So, again, if you have any comments, definitely send me an email. Um, otherwise, what I'm going to do is post another video tomorrow night. Enjoy forecasting the storm.